caterpillar on a leaf. Wiggle, wiggle, there's a little caterpillar on a leaf. Oh, hi! I was just singing a song about a caterpillar. Here's my caterpillar. And it made me think of a story that I'd like to share with you today. It's called King of the Swamp. Can you see who's on the front? Oh, he looks a little bit scary. It's written by Catherine Emmett, illustrated by Ben Mample, and I'm reading it with the permission of Simon and Schuster Publishers. Shall we find out what happens? The swamp was quite dark and the swamp was quite dank. And due to the mud, the swamp really quite stank. McDarkly lived quietly all on his own and he dreamed of transforming his muddy swamp home. He had a neat garden which had a neat wall and each year he grew orchids, some large and some small. Some flowers were spotted, some flowers were plain. McDarkly, he cherished them all just the same. One day, as he tended a tiny new bud, he heard lots of someone's all ride through the mud. This here's where I'll build my new roller skate park. I'll concrete it all cause it's stinky and dark. Oh, look over there at that strange swampy thing. Yes, you stinky creature, bow down to your king. The king and his minions all started to laugh. <laughs> oh, call for my butler to give it a bath. No, no, cried McDarkly. The orchids will die. And he wrung both his hands and he stammered a cry. If you could just look at the beauty they grace, you'd see that the, 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 the swamp is a magical place. The princess rode forwards. Grow orchids, you say? They'd help with my research. Do show me the way. McDarkly said sadly, they've not flowered yet. In a couple of weeks, you'll love them a bit. Oh, Daddy, I have to insist we return. Just think of the marvellous things I could learn. All right, huffed the king. We return in ten days. He scowled at McDarkly. Now buck up your ways. The whole of this swamp best be bursting with grace, or soon I'll be skating all over this place. The next day, McDarkly was up before dawn. He rubbed at his eyes. He stifled a yawn. He gathered the plants and the tools he would need. His swamp was at stake, so he had to succeed. He shoveled the mud till his shoulders were sore. Then he shoveled and planted and shoveled some more. The light was soon fading. The sun was soon set. McDarkly kept going. He couldn't stop yet. He worked without ceasing and time flew so fast that quickly he found that the 10 days had passed. But as he was singing his flowering song, Flowers, flowers, grow, grow, little flowers. He spotted a something that didn't belong. Right there on the leaf of a small prickly shrub, he spotted a tiny and furry green grub. McDarkly was panicked, <gasps> but what could he do? He thought for a moment and then he said, she, she. But just as he lifted it off with his paw, he looked all around and he saw there were more. His stomach was churning. He felt rather sick. He had to do something and do something quick. He tried to remove them as fast as he could, but there were so many. It didn't look good. His flowers were eaten in one single night and nothing was left. No, not one single bite. His swamp would be lost and he tried not to cry. He knew he had failed and he howled at the sky. Oh! Oh! The horses and riders returned the next day. McDarkly said nothing, for what could he say? But just as the king was guffawing in glee, 
The princess exclaimed, oh, my good gracious me, why, look at the beauty and look at the grace. This really is quite the most magical place. McDarkly turned round to see what she had seen. And there, where his poor ruined orchids had been, there weren't any furry green grubby-like things, but hundreds of butterflies fluttered their wings. <gasps> the princess excitedly made a decree. This place from now on is protected by me. This swamp is the first of my nature reserves. McDarkly will run it. It's what he deserves. McDarkly stood silent. Inside his heart soared. He knew he had rescued the swamp he adored. From then on, the pair of them often would meet. She found him some orchids the grubs wouldn't eat. The plans that they made were so splendid and grand, the princess decided he needed a hand. It turned out the king had some butlers to spare. In fact, before long, she had him work in there. The swamp was still dank, but no longer so dark, and never became the king's roller skate park. McDarkly had proven that beauty and grace can sometimes be found in the stinkiest place. And that's the story of McDarkly and his swamp. So when he thought all was lost, when the caterpillars had eaten his plants, they turned into butterflies. And there's the caterpillar. And we're gonna sing a song now about caterpillars who turn into butterflies. Are you ready? Here it goes. One little caterpillar sitting on a leaf. One little caterpillar has a little sleep. <coughs> the little caterpillar wakes up with a sigh. I'm not a caterpillar, I'm a great big butterfly. Have a lovely day, everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye.